I'm studying at Cliff College on a BA mission and ministry degree and I'm from London. I love Cornwall, the outdoors and the sea. And today I've been asked to talk to you all about evangelism. And I'm sure that some of you have heard that word before. Maybe for those of you that know what it is and it's something that can seem pretty terrifying or something that we feel totally unqualified to do. So before I begin this seminar I wanted to just mention briefly that Evangelism is something that we are all qualified and are all able to do. Jesus had a group of disciples who were a similar age to lots of you. I bet you didn't know this, but all the disciples were aged between the ages of 15 to 20, other than Simon, Peter and Matthew. They were the only ones that paid temple tax, which is something you had to do if you were over the age of 20. The disciples, regardless of their age, went and did some pretty amazing things. They performed some incredible miracles, they shared the gospel and transformed lives. If they can do awesome things, so can all of us. So what is evangelism? I guess if you could sum it up, the majority of people would say that it's about sharing the good news with other people. It's basically about introducing to people to Jesus. It's about telling our story. And I totally believe that bringing Jesus wherever we go, be it to the shops, the supermarkets, work or schools, is evangelism. We can evangelise through talking to people, praying to pe for people and modelling Jesus in all we do and say. And looking at the world through the way that we can imagine Jesus might have seen it. So I thought it was important to mention the good news. That's basically we, what we are wanting to share with other people. And for some, maybe it's helpful to have a summarised reminder of what it is. Jesus came to a world that had no real hope, to bring true and unending hope. Jesus gives a voice to those that are voiceless, a face to those that are faceless, identity to those marginalised and to those oppressed. And that is such good news. I've picked a couple of passages from the Bible that show us that evangelism is something for all of us. And so I want to touch on these. If you have a Bible, feel free to highlight these passages and follow along. John 7 verse 38 says, Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Christ is in us. We have the Holy Spirit. For those of us that have invited Christ to be in our lives, we have been promised that through sharing the gospel with others, we will be impacting others with God's word and the good news that I talked about. That's encouraging, right? We have been equipped, even if we don't realise it, to share the gospel, to evangelise to others. Jesus says in Mark 16 verse 15, to go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to a new creation. We have a task, a mission. We have a true unending hope and to not share the hope that we have with others, not to share the opportunities and for people to listen or find faith in themselves. Well, we're basically holding back something life-changing and denying them that opportunity. We all have an innate desire to be loved, to belong and to be accepted. And most people spend a lifetime searching for that, wandering around without any real direction. But we have an opportunity to change that for the people around us. If we share the gospel, we can share something that makes sense that changes lives. John 8 verse 32 says that the truth will set you free. And scientists in America have found that when just 10% of the population holds an unshakable belief, their belief will always be adopted by the majority of society. So, if out of all those people that you've evangelised to, 10% give their lives to Christ and then they go on to evangelise, eventually you are starting to help change culture. And that is amazing. It's really hard to try and sum evangelism up into a seminar. Really hard to be fair. But I want each of you to realise that by sharing your own story of faith with people that that itself carries weight. So have a think. What is your story of faith? What has led you to faith? I think it's so important to know, to know our stories so that we can go and share it with other people. So spend some time thinking about your story and how you um, gave your life to Christ. One of my favourite songs has this line, I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody all about somebody. Evangelising isn't about making ourselves look good. It's not about putting ourselves on a pedestal. 
It's not about showing ourselves off. We evangelise to show God off to people. We facilitate and share God and he does the rest of the work. So we need to be humble people. What's really cool though is that even if evangelism seems pretty terrifying and society seems pretty threatening, each time we share the gospel with other people, our own faith and our own boldness grows. We begin to challenge ourselves and when we put ourselves in a place of discomfort, we begin to grow. The world and society has a pretty negative view of evangelising. And maybe some of you have experienced this for yourself or seen street preachers yelling at people or threatening people with hell. That's not what evangelism should look like. Evangelism is about making love your aim. And if we can love just as Jesus loves, then we want to care for those around us genuinely. Every person in the world is on their own faith journey, be it that they have none or that they've given their life to Christ and they're growing closer to him each day. And so we want to make evangelism normal. So let's be ourselves when we share the gospel to others. Normal Christianity is simply giving your life to Jesus. So, even if when you mention Jesus, share Jesus or pray for someone, as long as when you walk away, the person knows that they are loved by the Father and that you genuinely care about them, then that is what we're about. We don't have to see people give their lives to Jesus there and then. That's not our job. We just have to share the gospel and trust that Jesus will do the rest. So I want to give you some examples of places to start. I have some friends that will walk around town and they'll be prayer walking and they'll be praying for God to show them people and then they'll go up and chat to them and chat about the good news straight away. And I know that that's pretty scary and I find that quite a fearful situation to be honest. So like I said earlier, evangelising can simply be bringing Jesus with us. Say you were out in a food shop or at a drive through you could offer to pay for someone's food. Hey, can I get that? They might ask, why? Well, God put it on my heart and I want to bless you. They might say, why are you doing this? Are there any strings attached? Well, see, someone else pay the price without leaving any strings attached. Maybe it's making friends aware that you are a Christian and that you're living a life that you know the Bible advises us to live by that you're living a life of love. One day our friends may suddenly ask why we don't do certain things or that we live a certain way. We could be out and about and could listen to God and ask him to direct us to people. Maybe that's someone that just needs someone to talk to or maybe that's someone that needs healing or that someone that needs prayer. Step out in faith and listen to God. At the moment it is pretty tough to get outside because of lockdown, but we can still evangelise. Maybe drop a friend a text and see if they have anything that they want prayer for. Maybe spend some time listening to God for those around you and see if he has anything he wants to say to them. Because we can evangelise during lockdown. So how about you have a think about some ways that you can share your faith. Write them down and then go do them. Before I finish, I really want to emphasise that we can listen for hours on end to seminars and talks and read the Bible and know all there is to know about evangelism. But the point of evangelism and what I really want to make clear to you is that putting evangelism into practice is the main thing. We can't just sit and listen. We have to get out and evangelise for real. We have to go and do. So remember that we are all qualified to evangelise. Whatever our age, whatever our faith story, whatever our background, that doesn't matter because we can all evangelise. We have life-changing news and we are asked by Jesus to go and share it. Let's bring Jesus wherever we go. Let's try and see the world through Jesus' eyes. Let's seek opportunities to pray for people, to share the gospel, to model love. Let's pour into people and show them how loved they are. Let's go do. Let's go evangelise for real. So I want to encourage each of you now, during lockdown, to step out in faith, take a risk, and know that you are able and called to evangelise.